Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to examine the maxima or minima of the following function. f of x comma y is given as x square plus xy plus y square plus 1 by x plus 1 by y. As a first part, we have to find positive differentiation of the function with respect to x, which is the first term x square differentiation is 2x and here y is constant. So x differentiation is 1 and y square is constant so it becomes 0 and 1 by x is minus 1 by x square and the last term is purely constant so it will be 0 on differentiation. Similarly, f y we have to find out that is a positive differentiation with respect to y. First term is 0, second term x is a constant so only x will come plus 2y and this term 1 by x is 0 and 1 by y is minus 1 by y square. Now we have to equate fx equal to 0 and fy equal to 0. So 2x plus y minus 1 by x square equal to 0 is one equation and x plus 2y minus 1 by y square equal to 0. So when I take LCM, the LCM is x square and here it is 2 x cube plus y x square minus 1 equal to 0 and here the LCM is y square. So x y square plus 2 y cube minus 1 equal to 0. Then when I cross multiply 2 x cube plus y x square minus 1 is equal to 0 because we multiply this x square with 0 and here x y square plus 2 y cube minus 1 equal to 0. Now let's take this 1 to the other side. So 2 x cube plus y x square equal to 1 and x y square plus 2 y cube equal to 1. So we got two equations. Let's take this as first and second. Since both the sides are 1, we will equate the other two sides. That is 2x cube plus yx square equal to xy square plus 2y cube. Let's take everything to one side. So 2x cube minus 2y cube plus yx square minus xy square equal to 0. Now let's take two common and this will become x cube minus y cube and here we can take x y common we get x minus y equal to 0. Now again we can factorize this. This is x minus y into x square plus x y plus y square into 2 then plus x y into x minus y equal to 0. Now we can take x minus y common and first term will be 2 into this. So let's multiply everything 2x square plus 2xy plus 2y square. Then here it is xy. Totally this is 0. Now we have one factor x minus y and another factor 2x square plus 3x xy by adding 2xy and xy we get 3xy plus 2y square equal to 0 and here product is 4 sum is 3 and if I try to solve this equation first let's equate individual factor to 0 that is x minus y equal to 0 and here 2x square plus 3 xy plus 2y square equal to 0. The discriminant value b square minus 4ac. Let me take only the numbers. That is b square that is 9 minus 4ac. So the discriminant is coming as 4 to 8, 8 to 16. It is coming as negative. So no real roots. So we leave this part and we take only the first part that is Therefore, x is equal to y. So we got one result.
and this one we will substitute in any of the equation either first or second let's take the first equation so now first equation wherever x is there we can put y or wherever y is there we can put x so it is 2x cube plus y x square equal to 1 let's copy this 2x cube plus y x square equal to 1 so wherever x is there we put y so this is 2y cube plus y into y square equal to 1 so totally 2y cube plus y cube equal to 1 3y cube equal to 1 so from this y cube is 1 by 3 and y is 1 by 3 whole power 1 by 3 since x and y are same from this x equal to y therefore x is also the same value 1 by 3 whole power 1 by 3 so we got the stationary point the stationary point is 1 by 3 whole power 1 by 3 comma 1 by 3 whole power 1 by 3 and we have to put this in a big coordinate so this is our point now after this we have to find the second differentiation that is fxx so i copied the fx again so this we are going to differentiate with respect to x again so it will become 2 and minus 1 by x square will be plus 2 by x cube similarly f xy is differentiation of fy with respect to x with respect to x this will be only 1 because y is constant and this is our a capital a is 2 plus 2 by x cube and this is b which is 1 and now f y y is differentiation of f y with respect to y again so 2 plus 2 by y cube so this is our c 2 plus 2 by y cube so we are going to make a table in the table we are having only one point but still we always form a same format for all the problem so let's take the point here as the first column so the point here we always write the stationary point so here the point is 1 by 3 whole power 1 by 3 comma 1 by 3 whole power 1 by 3 this is our point so we got the stationary point now we have to write value of a here when i put x as 1 by 3 here so the value of a will become 2 plus 2 by when i put x cube this will become only 1 by 3 so this 3 will go up so 2 plus 6 which is 8 which is greater than 0 similarly b b is anyway we have the value 1 so this is a completed b is 1 again c it is of the similar form so the value of c is 2 plus 2 by 1 by 3 whole power 1 by 3 whole cube is 1 by 3 so 3 to the 6 and totally this is 8 which is greater than 0 but anyway we don't need the sign of this next condition ac minus b square is the next column the value of a into c a into c is how much 8 into 8 64 minus b square 1 so 63 we got this is greater than 0 now the last part is conclusion so we have to conclude here the conclusion is since this is greater than 0 and a is also greater than 0 the conclusion is this is the minimum point to find the minimum value now we have to substitute the stationary point in the original function f of x comma y that is 1 by 3 power 1 by 3 plus sorry comma 1 by 3 power power 1 by 3 so this is here first term is x square plus x y plus y square x square will be 1 by 3 whole power 2 by 3 plus x y will be 
1 by 3 whole power 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 whole power 1 by 3 when I add it will become power 2 by 3. Then we have plus y square plus 1 by x plus 1 by y. So when I substitute for y square again the same term 1 by 3 whole power 2 by 3 plus 1 by x. So 1 by 1 by 3 power 1 by 3 and 1 by y again 1 by 1 by 3 power 1 by 3. So first 3 term 1 by 3 whole power 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 whole power 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 whole power 2 by 3. Then these two are same. So let us take this as 2 by 1 by 3 whole power 1 by 3. Even this we could have added as 3 into. So 3 into 1 by 3 whole power 2 by 3 plus 2 into if I carry this to the numerator 1 by 3 whole power minus 1 by 3. Now let us rewrite the second term. The first term is 3 into 1 by 3 whole power 2 by 3 plus 2 into 1 by 3 whole power. This minus 1 by 3 can be written as minus 1 plus 2 by 3. Because I want power 2 by 3 like the first term. So I just rearrange it. If I take LCM, it will become minus 3 plus 2 which is minus 1 by 3. Now the second term once again can be split into two part. So this 2 is as it is. 1 by 3 whole power minus 1 into 1 by 3 whole power 2 by 3. Now we can take 1 by 3 whole power 2 by 3 common. So first term is 3 plus second term is 2. Then we left with this power minus 1 will be into 3. So it will become reciprocal. 1 by 3 will become 3 by 1. So totally 1 by 3 whole power 2 by 3. And this is 3 to the 6. 6 plus 3, 9. 9 is 3 square. Now to make it combined as a single term, this can be written as 3 power minus 2 by 3 because this is 3 power minus 1. So minus 2 by 3 will become. This is 3 power 2. Now bases are same. We add the power. That is 2 minus 2 by 3. After taking LCM, 3 to the 6, 6 minus 2, 4. So 3 power 4 by 3. So this is our minimum value.